Now what we know is a second order homogeneous differential equation can be expressed as y double dash plus a y dash plus b y equals to 0. We can also write this as d2y upon dx square plus a dy by dx plus by equals to 0 and then there is another way using differential operator. So basically in this what we do is we write d as dy by dx d square as d2y upon dx square and dn as dn by d x to the power n. So we can write this equation in terms of this operator d as d square plus a d plus b into y equals to 0. We call this d as differential operator. And when we are going to write it in terms of differential operator, then this equation itself is going to give you characteristic equation. And by solving this quadratic, you can find different values of d. What we'll do is, we'll generalize the concepts learned in solving second order differential equation to higher order differential equations with constant coefficients and which are homogeneous. In second order differential equation, what we have done was, we have changed this equation a d2y upon dx square plus b dy by dx plus cy equals to 0 into characteristic equation by writing it as a lambda square plus b lambda plus c equals to 0 or we can write it in terms of differential operator so it will be this a d square plus b d plus c into y equals to 0 where this itself is its characteristic equation. Now we look at any nth order homogeneous differential equation which is linear we can write it as a n d n y by d x to the power n plus a n minus 1 d n minus 1 y d x to the power n minus 1 will go up to a1 dy by dx plus a0 y equals to 0. We can write its characteristic equation and it will be a n lambda to the power n a n minus 1 lambda to the power n minus 1 it will be a1 lambda plus a0 equals to 0 which is a polynomial equation in lambda and we can solve this equation to find different values of lambda or we can write this equation in terms of differential operator so it will be this a n d to the power n a n minus 1 d to the power n minus 1 up to a 1 d plus a naught y equals to 0 and once we have different values of lambda or d we can write the solutions as we have done in case of second order differential equation. Now here one thing that we must keep in mind is in many of the theorems coefficient of highest derivative is usually 1. So it's a better practice to make this coefficient 1. So rather than writing it in this form what we'll do is we'll divide everything with a n to make this coefficient 1. So we can write this as dn by dx to the power n plus now this a n minus 1 upon a n this is some constant and say it is a n minus 1 d n minus 1 y d x n minus 1 and this is a 1 dy by dx plus a naught equals to 0. So it is recommended that you make the coefficient of highest order derivative as 1. So let us take one example. Say for example, we are given the question that 
डी क्यूब बाय अपॉन डी एक्स क्यूब माइनस डी टू बाय अपॉन डी एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेल्व डी वाई बाय डी एक्स एंड इट इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ वी कैन आइड दिस इज डी क्यूब माइनस डी टू माइनस ट्वेल्व डी वाई इक्वल्स टू जीरो Now its characteristic equation will be this d cube minus d square minus twelve d equals to zero. We can take d common and then we can write d plus three d minus four equals to zero. So we get three different values of d as zero minus three and d equals four. So corresponding to d equals to zero, we'll have it is power zero x. Corresponding to minus three, we'll have it is power minus three x, and corresponding to four, we'll have it is power four x. And since all of them they're distinct, the general solution will be c one it is power zero is one plus c two it is power minus three x plus c three it is power four x, and that is the answer to this question. Now let us take another example, and here the question is: we need to solve this linear homogeneous. Fourth order differential equation with constant coefficient, and this equation is d to the power four plus six d cube plus five d square minus twenty four d minus thirty six y equals to zero. So we'll get our characteristic equation form d to the power four plus six d cube plus five d square minus twenty four d. Now d equals one is not going to help. So what we'll do is we'll try d equals two. Now this is sixteen forty eight plus twenty minus forty eight minus thirty six. I'll cancel. This is zero. So one of the solution is d equals two. Now we'll use synthetic division. Now this is one six five minus twenty four. Minus thirty six. This is two. This is one. Eight. Twenty one. Forty two. Eighteen. Zero. So we can factorize this as d minus two. D cube plus. Eight d square plus twenty one d plus eighteen equals to zero. Now minus one won't help. We'll try d equals minus two. So it'll be this minus eight plus thirty two minus forty two plus eighteen. Now thirty two plus eighteen fifty. Fifty one is fifty zero. So next one is minus two. Now this is minus two, six, minus twelve, nine, minus eighteen, zero. So we can write this as d minus two, d plus two, d square plus six d plus nine equals to zero. Now this is d minus two, d plus two, and this is d plus three whole square. So the roots are minus two plus two minus three and minus three. So we have a double root. So here will be y equals. Now this is c one it is bar minus two x plus c two it is bar two x. And since we have a double root here, we can write this as c three plus x c four it is bar minus three x. And that is the answer to this question. Let us take another example. Now the question is: d to the power four y upon d x to the power four plus five d two y upon d x square minus thirty six y, and it is equal to zero. Now, if we have to write it in differential operator form, we can write this as. D to the power four 
प्लस फाइव डी स्क्वायर माइनस थर्टी सिक्स वाई इक्वल टू जीरो वी कैन फैक्टराइज दिस एज डी स्क्वायर प्लस नाइन इंटू डी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर इक्वल टू जीरो और वी कुड हैव टेकन सोल्यूशन इज वाई इक्वल्स इड पार लेमडा एक्स एंड देन वी कैन गेट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन एज लेमडा टू द पार फोर प्लस फाइव लेमडा माइनस थर्टी सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो अगेन वील गेट द सेम वैल्यूज लेमडा स्क्वायर प्लस नाइन एंड लेमडा स्क्वायर माइनस फोर इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो वैल्यू ऑफ लेमडा विल बी प्लस और माइनस टू एंड प्लस और माइनस थ्री एवेटा नाउ वी कैन राइट दिस सोल्यूशन एज वाई इक्वल सी वन इड पार माइनस टू एक्स प्लस सी टू इड पार प्लस टू एक्स नाउ विद प्लस माइनस थ्री एवेटा वी कैन राइट दिस एज सी थ्री कॉस थ्री एक्स प्लस सी फोर साइन थ्री एक्स एंड दैट इज द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन so if we have any homogeneous linear equation with constant coefficients which we can factorize and find roots then we should be able to write the solution easily